Hello, I'm Dr Jonathan Oates, Archivist of London Borough of Ealing. And this is another in the series of local history talks about famous people associated with the borough. <laughs> Frederick John Perry was born in 1909 in Stockport and he came to live in Ealing in 1919 with his parents. And they lived at 223 Pittshanger Lane his father, Samuel, was an MP for the Cooperative Party. Fred went to school um, at Drayton Primary School and then he went to school at Ealing Grammar School from 1920 to 1927. He found he liked sports and initially, after trying football and cricket, he realised he was very good at t playing table tennis and even won a gold medal in a table tennis championship in Stockholm. However, he also realised that some tennis players were very wealthy people. So he began to play lawn tennis, playing at clubs in Chiswick and Harrow, whilst working um, in a tea dealer's shop. He quit working the shop by 1930, and in the next few years, he became one of Britain's greatest tennis players. He won the Open in America and the Davis Cup in Europe, but perhaps most famously, he was the men's singles champion at Wimbledon in 1934, 1935 and 1936, an achievement that no British male player has ever, ever had since. He went to America in 1936 um, he went on to win lots of other tennis championships and contests. He even played at Wimbledon again in the 1950s. He, he made a lot of money by merchandising sports equipment with, which has his name on and these are still available to this day. In 1984 he wrote his autobiography and in the next decade he died in Australia. He's best known as Fred Perry perhaps Britain's greatest male tennis player in the 20th century. And it's ironic, however, that he announced that before him, no Briton had ever won Wimbledon, despite the fact that Dorothea Chambers, who lived in Ealing in the 1900s, was a female tennis player who won Wimbledon's ladies seven times. Thank you. Please remember to like this video and to subscribe to Ealing Library's YouTube channel. Thank you.